Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn the properties of multiplication. We are in class 4 now and we know that multiplication is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. Let us go into the details of this video now. The first property that we are going to see is two numbers can be multiplied in any order. The product remains the same. What is the product in multiplication? The answer that you get by multiplying two numbers or three numbers is called as a product in multiplication. The rule says that two numbers can be multiplied in any order. Their product will remain the same. Let us understand this with the help of examples. The first number we have over here is 7 into 4 is equal to we know the 7 tables. What is the answer? 7 fours are 28. That is we have 7 groups of 4 items each. So 7 times 4 is equal to 28. What is 4 into 7? From the 4 tables we know that 4 sevens are is also 28. That is we have 4 groups of 7 items each. So 4 into 7 is equal to 28. So this is what the property says. Two numbers can be multiplied in any order. Their product or the answer that you get will remain the same. 7 into 4 is 28. 4 into 7 is also 28. Let us understand this property with more examples. 16 into 4 is equal to what? So how do you do this? First we'll have to do a two digit multiplication with a single digit multiplication. So, write the two numbers, write their place values. 4 is a single digit number. So, you will have to write it in the 1's place. Now, begin the multiplication from the 1's place. 4 into 6 is equal to 24. We know that 24 can be regrouped as 24 1's is nothing but 2 10's plus 4 1's. So, retain the 4 1's in the 1's place and take the 2 as a carryover to the 10's place. Next, we will have to multiply 4 into 1. 4 into 1 is what? 4. Now, we have to add that carried over number 2. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. So, you will get the number 6 in the 10's place. So, what is the answer now? 16 into 4 is equal to 64. Now, to verify this property, we need to see if 4 into 16 is also equal to 64. Shall we do that now? Now, 4 is a single digit number where you have only 1's place. Next, you will have to write the number 16 below that and you have 2 place values, 1's place and 10's place. The general practice is that we always write the bigger number on the top and the smaller number on the bottom and multiply. But to verify this property, I am showing you that multiplication can also be done in this way. Okay, so first begin the multiplication from the 1's place. 6 1's into 4 1's. So what will you get? 24. So 24 will be occupying the 1's place and 10's place because it is 24. So next we have to go to the 10's place where you have a 1. You have to multiply 1 into 4 now. What is this 1 actually? This is not just 1. It is in the 10's place. So it is actually a 10 into 4. So what will you do is you will eventually put a 0 in the 1's place below the first number. And now we will multiply 1 into 4. You will get the answer to be 4 in the 10's place. So it is actually 10 into 4, 40. That is what you are getting in the answer. The first 24 is nothing but 6 into 4 and the second 40 is 10 into 4. So when you add these two you will get 16 into 4. The answer will be 4 plus 0 is 4, 2 plus 4 is 6, the answer will be 64. So 4 into 16 is also 64. So this verifies the property of multiplication that when two numbers are multiplied in any order, you get the same answer. Let us go on to the second property now. Three or more numbers being multiplied together can be grouped in any way. The product remains the same. This can be understood with the help of example better. Now we have the number 3 into 4 into 7. Here I am grouping 4 into 7. So 
we have to find out the answer for this. 3 into 4 into 7. 4 into 7 is a single group. So, what is 4 into 7 from the tables? We know that 4 into 7 is 28. So, that can be simplified and written as 28. So, now we have to find out what is 3 into 28. Once we do the sum, I will repeat the property again so that you can understand it better. So first, let us find out 3 into 28 or 28 into 3. Anything is fine. So, let us write down the numbers 28 into 3 and their place values 1s and 10s. Now, begin the multiplication from the 1s place. 3 into 8 is 24. So, 3 into 8 is 24 which is nothing but 24 1s which can be regrouped as 2 10s plus 4 1s. So, retain the 4 1s in the 1s place and take the 2 10s as a carryover to the 10s place. Next, you will have to multiply 3 into 2 which is 6. Now, 6 has to be added to the carried over number 2. So, 6 plus 2 is 8. So, what will you get in the 10s place? It is 8. That is nothing but the answer is 84. So, 28 into 3 will give you the answer. 84 or 3 into 28 is nothing but 84. Let us write down the original sum now. 3 into 4 into 7 is equal to 84. We simplified 4 into 7 as 28. What does the rule say? 3 numbers can be grouped in any order. Their product will remain the same. We have grouped the first time in this way. That is 3 into 4 into 7 is grouped as a single group. Let us see what are we going to do next. Now we are going to group 3 into 4 into 7. That is we are going to group 3 into 4 as a single group. And with that answer we are going to multiply 7 and see if the answer is the same 84. So first let us simplify the bracket. 3 into 4 is what? 12. 3 4s are 12. So next we have to do 12 into 7. We know 7 tables. 7 into 12 is what is the answer? 84. 12 into 7 or 7 into 12 is going to give you the same answer. We also saw in the first property two numbers when multiplied in any order they will give you the same number. If you know 12 tables it is fine or till now if you have learnt only 7 tables then 7 into 12 is 84. We know that. So this verifies the property. Three numbers can be grouped in any order and multiply and you will get the same answer. The next sum that we are going to see is 14 into 3 into 8 is equal to what? Here I have grouped 3 into 8 as a single group. So we are going to do this sum and verify the same property of multiplication. What is 3 into 8? 3 8s are 24. So now we have to find out what is 14 into 24. This is a 2 digit by a 2 digit multiplication. So write the numbers one below the other. Write their place values and begin the multiplication from the 1's place. 4 into 4 is 16. So 6 carry over 1. Next 4 into 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. Next move on to the 10's place where you have to multiply 2 into 4. This is nothing but actually 20 because it is in the 10's place. So you have to put a 0 in the 1's place and then multiply 2 into 4 which is 8. Remove the carried over which we got by multiplying the 1's place to avoid confusion. See, I have removed the 1 which was carried over so that we can multiply the 10's place now without any confusion. So now 2 into 4 is 8, 2 into 1 is 2. Why are we moving to the 100's place? Did you understand that? Because 2 is nothing but the 10's place which is nothing but 20. You are multiplying it by 1 which is in the 10's place. 20 to 10 is 200. So it automatically moves into the 100's place. So now we have to add these two products now. 6 plus 0 is 6. 5 plus 8 is 13. 3 carry over 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. So the answer is 336. So what was the question? 14 into 3 into 8 is equal to 336. Now we have to find out 14 into 3 into 8 is equal to what? Now we have grouped 14 into 3 as a single entity. Let us do that now. 14 into 3 is 14 is a two digit number, 3 is a single digit number. So 3 into 4 is 12. 12 ones is 110 plus 2 ones, 2 in the ones place. 1 is a carryover to the tens place. 3 into 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So you get the answer to be 42. So 14 into 3 is 42. So now we have to find out 42 into 8. Let us do the multiplication quickly. 8 into 2 in the ones place is 16. So 16 ones is 110 plus 6 ones. 6 carry over 1, 
8 fours are 32, 32 plus 1 is 33. So you get the answer to be 336 in this case also. Let us write the original form of the sum. 14 into 3 into 8 is equal to 336. And just before this we saw that 14 into 3 into 8 is equal to 336 which verifies the property of multiplication which states that 3 numbers can be grouped in any order and multiplied. The answer will remain the same. Let us see the third property. The product of 1 and any number is this number itself. When you multiply any number by 1 or 1 by any number you get the same number. Let us see this with the help of examples. 9 into 1 is 9. 9 group of 1 item each will give you 9. 1 group of 15 item each will obviously give you the same number 15. Even if it is a 3 digit number or a 4 digit number, it doesn't matter. Any number into 1 will give you the same number. So 467 into 1 is equal to 467. Let us see the next property. The product of 0 and any number is 0. That is the speciality of 0. When you multiply any number by 0 or 0 by any number, you get the answer to be 0. Let us see with the help of examples. 6 into 0 is 0. 0 into 92 is also 0 because it is not having any item. 0 group into 92 items is obviously going to give you 0. So 845 into 0 will also give you 0. What are we going to do next? Let us quickly revise whatever we learned so far with respect to properties of multiplication. 801 into 1 is equal to what? When you multiply any number by 1, you get the same number. So, 801 into 1 is equal to 801. 0 into 92 is equal to 0. When multiplied by any number, you get the answer to be 0. 8 into 4 is equal to 4 into dash. What is the answer? 8. When two numbers are multiplied in any order, you get the same number. So, 8 into 4 is equal to 4 into 8, both of which are going to give you the answer. 32. 6 into 2 into 5 is equal to 6 into dash into 5. What will you get here? 2. Because 3 numbers when multiplied can be grouped in any order, the answer will remain the same. So 6 into 2 into 5 is equal to 6 into 2 into 5. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 4 under the topic multiplication of which we have covered the first topic properties of multiplication. In my upcoming videos, we will be seeing each of these topics in detail in separate videos. Links to all of these topics will be given below in the description box for your quick and easy access. You may also click on the in-screen video which will take you to the playlist containing all the videos for class 4 multiplication. As and when I add the videos, I will be adding the videos to the playlist of class 4 multiplication. So please stay tuned with my channel. Thank you for watching my channel. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. We have a lot of topics in multiplication class 4. So stay tuned with my channel. See you again.